Good morning, good morning, everybody. Hey, happy Tuesday. Today is Taco Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. Ooh, I'm going down the stairs. But listen, I just had the ultimate hot flash. I'm going to take this fucking mask off, too. Yo, them things just pop out of nowhere. They might aggravate you, they start activating. Ooh. Ooh, let me put these bags in here. I got to take my coat off. Ooh, I am having a hot ah. Ooh. Ooh, ladies, ladies, ladies. You know what? Growing up, nobody never talked about motherfucking hot flashes. It's cold outside, but it ain't hit me yet. Woo. Woo. And this shit don't help me at all. Woo. These hot flashes is no joke. Woo. I got enough air in here. Let me explain something to you guys. I just turned 50. I'm 50 fabulous. Hey! But I'm gonna say this. It's a lot of things about turning 50 that we're not aware about. These hot flashes is not a game. The way they come is like, it feels like heat coming up your body. You just gotta get butt naked. Yeah, butt naked, strip, take something off. Take a few pieces off. And then your body is like, take it. Then the cold sweats that come, not the sweats, but the coldness that come, is not like a regular freezing cold to me. That coldness that comes, oh baby, baby. Woo -hoo -hoo. It is so, my body just get real cold. And I just be like, what the hell just happened? I keep my feet out at all times because your feet get cold, your body cool down. That does work for me. One night I was having them so bad, I had to take a cold shower and I had to put something cold on my feet. And I was like, what the hell? Now I'm taking some estrogen pills. It helps with the um the sweat and the cold flashes. And um, I go to my doctor and when I go, ladies, when you go to your GY and I always say, give me a physical from A through Z, take all types of tests, blood work, thank God. I've, I'm, I'm in good health. I just have like a little pain in my stomach. So, you know, they checking it. All I can say is somebody better tell me what's going on with these hot flashes because I am not getting the memo. I'm not getting the info on none of it. My doctor do have something um, about, she has a book, like a pamphlet, and it's about um, GI stuff. So, ladies... When you going through your change of life or you think you're going through that phase of your change of life, make sure you get everything tested. Our parents didn't, majority of us didn't sit there. They didn't talk to us about financial and credit and menopause and pregnancies. And we know about the birds and the bees, but baby, you ain't know the transformation. After having a baby, your body swell up and it may not never go down. So that little waist you had, you may never get it again. Nobody warned you about that. Because if that was the case, a lot of y'all wouldn't been here. But anyway, ooh, look, now I'm getting cold. <sighs> Goodness gracious, now my coat is cold. Ooh, ooh, it's cold. See, that's what happens. That, that body change, you get cold, then you get hot, then you get hot, then you get cold. Nobody spoke to me about this. One nurse told me, don't have sex, you're going to get pregnant. One nurse told me, oh, if you get pregnant and you're going through menopause at 50, you're going to have a um a Down syndrome baby. I was like, miss, that's not true. Maybe in your race it ain't. It, it is, but not in mine. I've known people who had kids 
Look at Holly Berry. She is fabulous. Her kids is beautiful and healthy. Look at Janet Jackson. I don't see her baby eyes, you know, with the, with the syndrome. So, it's nothing wrong with that if a person wants to have a baby. Ain't nobody trying to have no baby. People try and travel, breathe raw fucking air, live life, stay healthy and cute. That's all we trying to do at 50. Establish us for making sure we comfortable. Because you got to understand... We have lived and gave the greatest and best time of our lives with our youth. And that's when you hit 18 and you got your 20s, 30s, 40s. And now you sit here, you going, damn, I'm 50? So all I can say to people is you got 50, 60, 70. That's when motherfuckers start breaking down. I ain't planning on breaking down. And all I can say to people is enjoy where you at. Make the best of where you stand. Do what you gotta do for you. Be happy. Don't worry about what people say. Half the time these people ain't even in your life. They was part of a chapter that's exit out your life. You know the book come and they start turning it. And guess what? Each turn is a new chapter, a new page, a new sentence. So if a person is coming into your life and they there for that reason, understand that they may not be there in the next season so when they come into your life and they start to teach you things you put it in that chapter and when that chapter's closed and you on to the next you're going to go from either a through z chapter or one to whatever chapter you're going to end it at and they ain't going to be part of it and this is the thing like i always used to tell my kids i said everybody that's your friend growing up everybody that you meet as a teenager may not be there when you're an adult May not be there when you hit 18, 19, in your 20s, 30s. You might be in touch. Thank goodness for these social medias to keep people in tune, in touch. But people get married. People go into the army. People move away. People have families. People go to jail. People die. People stay in the same community. Don't, don't involve. Don't, don't, don't grow. People, um, test, testimonies are all different. So when I say that, I say, y'all could be best friends today and not friends tomorrow. I had a best friend, a guy and a female growing up, and I still stay in touch with him. And we and her, we'll chat every now and then. And then I sit back and I wonder, damn, we was family. I had my best cousin. I love her. We all slept in the same beds. We barely speak. Things happen. People always say, oh, people acting like they gangster and gully and, and they all about that life. Shit, they are. You don't know people's journey. Just because you knew them, y'all was 12, 13, 14, and, and you ain't never seen them fighting or none of that. You don't know what people going through in their 20s and 30s and 40s. They may became soldiers in their own mind. You don't know people been in domestic violence relationships people been in in situations where they had to fight to get out people been in situations where it it, it it built them so sometimes when people say certain things oh this one ain't about that life they they, they, they they this they that i just sit back and then just shake my head at people like worry about your own testimony because we don't know what built this person to be that soldier people go through things that you don't even know that they're going through People be into shit that you don't even know that they into. And then you sit back and you be like, damn, people go through that? Shit be for real. Shit is real. Shit is for real out here. Then you got people who lost people due to COVID, cancer, all types of illness. You got people walking around here and they just not true to themselves. So when they come into your life, you got to know if you're going to keep them or you're going to let them go. But you can't force everybody to stay. And the sad part is, that's what they made to do. You got drifters. You got soldiers. You got people who going to stand by you, be faithful to you no matter what. I was just thinking about this um, conversation that Fat Joe said. I had all these people by my side and six of them stayed with him. Everybody not there because 
they want to be there for you and they down for you. They there to see what they can get out of you. And we all had encountered that type of relationship with people. And I've been in a relationship for years and people were not loyal. They were not dedicated. They were not faithful. They were not that person. They was just there for those chapters of my life. And when they left, I still continue to grow. They may grow in their own ways, but I grew where my mission was. Everything that I do, I am a person of, I'll step out and just be spontaneous and do things. I'll step out and plan, 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 and do something else. I'm not a person who say, oh, I'm going to go to Maryland and I'm going to take a trip and, and the trip is going to go as, as I planned it. Shit, on my way to Maryland, I might stop in Jersey and go shopping. I might go visit some friends after I leave Maryland. That's how I am. If I tell somebody, I'm going on a trip to um Disney. I love Disney. And Disney to me, give me 30 days. Let me get it out of my system. That's all I want. I'm 50 and I still got a heart like a kid. But I'll say this to say, me, I'm spontaneous with my time. Everything don't got to go into a plan in accordance of how people think things should be. I need a little ear. Is it on? I think that those type of people, that's their structure. That's not for me with everything. I'm dedicated with my work and my school. I'm dedicated with that. So I learned to designate my time. I learned to be committed to my time. That I did learn. I did learn that. But I'm saying to you to say this, that everything that we do in our life we got to understand that we got to make the best of it. I'm going to come back to chit chat chatters with Les Les, Lady B's Unique Creations after I'm done doing my run. Bye.